Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. We aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another chatty tag video that has actually been out for a little while now. I was just going through videos and this video stood out to me. It was the ride or die tag video. I believe Jacqueline Hill was the first one who ever created this tag video and I thought with a lot of all the favorites videos that are going around at the moment I thought why not create my own favorites video I actually have not done a favorites video ever before here on my channel so in today's video I'm going to be talking about my ride or die full face of makeup products this is not going to include skincare but if you guys do want to see a dedicated skincare ride or die video then definitely let me know in the comments down below I will film that for you if you want to see it. But for now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my ride or die makeup products. I have a full face of makeup right here. And what I absolutely love about the spread that I have going on right here is that majority of them are drugstore with the exception of maybe two products and everything else is drugstore and affordable prices. So if you guys want to see my ride or die full face of makeup products, then just keep on watching. Before I go any further, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are life as geek guy, the same across the board and without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. I'm just going to go in order of makeup application. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is primer. Now this is the one of the two products in this full face of products I have here that are not affordable. This one is the Mecca Cosmetica Soft Focus Smoothing Primer. Now this one smooths out fine lines and wrinkles and provides such an incredibly smooth base for my foundation and everything else to apply on top of. When I apply makeup without this one, I feel like my face looks like a moon crater, but when I use this one, it's such a game changer. So it says on the back of the bottle, this soft focus smoothing primer transforms your complexion in seconds. Consider it your very own soft focus filter in a bottle and it is exactly what it feels like. It fills in my pores, my fine lines and wrinkles. This high performance primer not only improves the application and staying power of your foundation, but it also smooths it instantly blurs the appearance of fine lines. Exactly does that. You know how sometimes a product will have all these claims? This one lives up to every single one of its claims. So definitely a holy grail of mine. This is the second bottle that I've gone through. Like, I mean, how often do we use up a product? This is the second bottle I've gone through. Unfortunately, this primer does retail for $40, but my last bottle lasted me about six months. And that was with regular makeup application. So it does last a while. You don't have to use very much. A little bit goes a very long way. So I feel like it's a good investment as part of my makeup routine. Next up, foundation, you guys. If you've watched any of my videos, you would know that my favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade 32 Amber. It is a bit of a darker color. What I love about this foundation is that it, I know it claims to be matte, but it's not so matte in the way that you look dry and cakey. I have combination skin, so the preparation of my skin with skincare, primer, and all of that is very important for me before I even so much as apply my foundation. And this one applies beautifully to my skin. It lasts nearly all day on my skin. I actually have a testimony about this foundation. When I used to do ballroom dancing competitions, the section that my dance partner and I danced in was generally one of the first rounds in the day. The competition doors would generally open around 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I live in a country town which is away from the city where all the ballroom dance competitions were held. Anyway, I would have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to put my makeup on get my hair done for these ballroom dance competitions, drive down to the city, get to the dance competition venue, get dressed, warm up, and then get on the floor and be ready and pumped. So, so the longevity of my makeup was so incredibly important. There were a whole lot of other steps that I went through to make my makeup last as long as it did, but this foundation definitely holds up throughout the day. Because my partner at the time would also dance with his dance partner in these competitions and they would be in a section on much later in the day, we wouldn't generally get back home until about 1 or 2 in the morning and my makeup would still be on. Not even kidding you guys, L'Oreal really hits the ball out of the park when it comes to foundations I find and that brings me to the next product. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. 
it's called a shaping stick. It's also a, like a stick foundation, but I use this one for contour. It's just in a shade a little bit too dark for me. My contour shade is 220. This one provides a very nice, gentle, subtle contour to my face. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now and on my forehead. I don't know if you can really see because my lighting is a bit shit. This one blends out really, really beautifully as well on the skin. It blends out not patchy, smooth. Everything you apply on top of it blends out so nicely. I've really only been using this in the last couple of months or so, but when I started using it, it was a huge game changer. Like I didn't have to use as much powder bronzer as well. And I just love the way that this one blends and actually looks and shapes my face and warms up my skin. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm so sad it's nearly at the end of the stick. I need to go buy another one. As far as concealer goes, I have two to share, but they are both from Maybelline. Can you guess what they are? Can you get? Can you get? Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Holy grail, ride or die. So many people talk about this. This one is an OG. This one has been around for so freaking long. Everybody still uses it. I still see people talking about it and it's that freaking good. It blends out so nicely under the eyes. It's not cakey, it's not creasy, but it gives perfect coverage. I find I still do have to set this concealer, but it wears so freaking well. The other concealer is the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. This one has a very similar consistency to this one. I just use this one more often because it's easier to apply. Whereas I find this one is almost identical to the formula of this one. It just has a little bit more coverage and looks a little bit more thick on the skin than the Maybelline Adrian Wine does. But this one also is a really, really good concealer. So you may have seen me use this one before, but in a much lighter shade for my eyeshadow bases in some of my past videos. Two very affordable concealers from the drugstore, Maybelline Master Conceal and Maybelline Age Rewind. Moving on to contour and bronzer. I know I've been using my Morphe bronzer in the shade Vlogger a lot on my channel recently and that's just because I had it and I want to use it. But my actual holy grail bronzer and contour is this BYS Contour Trio Palette. This one is in the shade Sassy and as you can see I've used it a fair bit. This one is the contour and this one is the bronzer here. I don't use the highlight shade in the middle very very often but it is a generally good powder to set the concealer as well but I really mostly go into the bronzer and the contour here this palette is only seven dollars or seven or eight dollars I think but it is really really good I've gone through multiples of this palette because I use it all the time I haven't been using it as much now since I've been doing contour with this foundation stick and using the morphe bronzer but I will still recommend this palette as my holy grail ride or die bronzer and contour powder even though it's really cheap and affordable it is such a really nice smooth formula and for me it works really well I've heard some negative reviews about this one but this one for me works really well it doesn't apply patch or fade throughout the day well it'll fade if you wear it for like more than five hours and if you don't apply your base well but when you apply your base well I find that th this one works really really well for me so yeah that one is the BYS Contour Trio Palette. Next for blush. Now this one isn't quite a drugstore. It is still quite affordable. I do believe this palette retails for maybe 15, 17 US dollars. This one is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 Palette by Juvia's Place. I don't use all of the colors in this palette because these two are probably a little bit more suited to a much darker skin tone than mine. But I like to mix these three, B, Lena, and Taiyu, and mix those three blushes and apply them on my cheeks. This isn't what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I'm actually wearing the Juvia's Place blush in the shade Bella. Juvia's Place blushes are also very, very smooth, buttery, creamy, easy to blend, and they actually last on my skin. This one is my Ride or Die blush palette. Now for highlight, this one is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. This is the second one that I've gone through. As you can see, it is very much well loved and used. What kind of used up empty products person are you? Is this empty to you or would you scrape out the edges? I want to know what kind of empty empty products person are you? Leave it in the comments down below. For me, I would try and scrape out every single last little bit of highlight in this pan before I throw it out and call it a day because I hate wasting stuff. If I love the product, I will scrape the absolute crap out of it and try and use every single little bit of product up before I throw the packaging out. I'm just that kind of empties person. Anyway, that's besides the point. It's such a beautiful glowy sheen highlighter. It's not chunky or glittery. It just applies really smoothly and really beautifully. And it's got an undertone that goes with a whole lot of looks. So that's why I love this one. I actually wear this one to work every single day, which is why I mean it's 
nearly gone. As far as mascara goes, I have been really super loving my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is actually the only one I have at the moment besides maybe an old dried up one of the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. But I just recently purchased the Essence All Eyes On You Mascara because this one is Tati Westbrook's Holy Grail Drugstore Mascara and she was like raving about it saying it was really good. So when I went to Target the other day, I picked this one up to try and it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyelashes right now. And I'm not wearing falsies. It gives me so much volume and length and I'm so, so impressed with this one. So I feel like this one's gonna be a new favorite. And it's only $6, guys. It's only $6. As opposed to the L'Oreal one, this one retails for a full $25. And while it's really, really good, and you can generally purchase it when Chemist Warehouse is having a 50% off sale, I find it's much better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it works really, really well for me. It's volumizing, it's lengthening, and I absolutely love it. This one's actually nearly dried out. I need to go buy a new one because I gave my backup away. <laughs> for eyeliner, unfortunately, this one has been discontinued. It hurts my soul so freaking much because eyeliner is one of those things that's really personal. When you find an eyeliner pen or gel or brush that really works for you, you hold on to that and you do not let it go. Unless the company that manufactures it does to you what Maybelline did to me. This one is the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. It has a very fine felt tip and it works like a dream. I can apply eyeliner in the morning in one minute on both eyes. I'm not even kidding. It works that well, it is that easy for me, and I think it has everything to do with the felt tip eyeliner, and the formula itself is not smudgy. You know how sometimes you might apply eyeliner and it starts to bleed through the fine lines on your eyelids? This one doesn't do that for me. Plus, it stays all freaking day. My eyes tend to water on the outer corners of my eyes, and this one might smudge like a little bit, but it doesn't rub off, and it's still on by the end of my work day, and I work full eight hour shifts every single day. I still have this one, and I have several backups because I was able to thank goodness find a listing on Amazon where someone was still selling maybe like old stock of these so I stocked up and I need to go purchase some more because I want to keep using this eyeliner forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and then when I can't find this anymore I'm gonna cry and I need to move on and find a new favorite eyeliner I'm actually gonna leave the listing for this eyeliner in the description box down below if you want to go check it out now for setting powder this one is an OG. Everyone knows what this one is. Everyone talks about this one. This is the RCMA Original No Color Translucent Powder. This one is the best. The only thing I hate about it is the packaging. That's why I have this bowl of <laughs> powder sitting on my desk because I just find it so much easier to use. Like I don't want to stick my brush in there and contaminate all the rest of the product in there. So I tip some out in the bowl whenever I need some and then just use it from the bowl. But yeah, no, this powder is so freaking good. It's fine. It doesn't leave creasing. It doesn't leave caking on your face and it sets everything down and makes everything else last all day. So that is my holy grail powder. Setting spray. I probably don't talk about it on my channel very much. Like I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but it's not really my holy grail because one bottle is $23 and if you use it every single day, I generally will use it up in about two weeks and I hate that because it's so expensive. <laughs> So expensive. It's beautiful and it's fragrance and it's so nice. It sets the skin so nicely. It's really refreshing when you use it and it's a nice continuous setting mist. But, but again, if I can find a product that works just as well for a cheaper price, lasts longer, then I'm gonna do that. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Unfortunately, the pump mist on the bottle is really, really shit. So what I do is I transfer all of this into one of my old Scandinavia bottles and I use that as setting spray. It works really, really well for me, but I find if you apply too much like if you spray your face too much with this it leaves a white cast because it has a bit of a powder that settles to the bottom of the bottle and that's why you need to shake it really really well and it has those little mixing beads in there to make sure that the powder that settles to the bottom of the bottle gets mixed throughout the whole product before you spray it on your face it sets my makeup down really well but the only secret with this is don't over spray your face with it because it is a fixing mist it sets and extends your makeup and if you like a luminous finish with your setting spray then I would definitely wouldn't recommend and this, this one has a bit more of a powdery set down finish. And if you like that look, then I would definitely recommend the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Fixing Mist. Okay, and last but not least, lipstick. What do you think my holy grail lipstick is? Again, if you know the answer to this question, pause the video right here, right now, go to the comments down below and let me know what you think my holy grail lipstick is. Can you guess? 
It is the Oprah Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. This one is a bright, vibrant type of lipstick. This one I love so much. I think in my whole makeup wearing life, I've gone through about eight tubes of this long lasting liquid lipstick. Oprah Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick itself is a holy grail formula of mine, but the holy grail shade, holy grail color is this one. I know it's a bright red, not everybody can pull off a bright red, but I get so many compliments on my lippy whenever I wear this to work. Generally, I will wear this to work nearly every single day of my life. Anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. Oh my goodness, I forgot one product. I cannot believe I forgot to talk about this product. Eyeshadow palette. This is my Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. I can let it speak for itself. This palette has been so loved, beat up, and abused. It is the freaking best. I know it might not look like very much, but the colors and shades in this palette are so versatile. They are blendable. You can do a whole heap of different looks with it. And I would buy this whole entire palette again just for that shade right there. You can't really see it, but it's a shimmery, creamy sort of shade that is beautiful as an inner corner highlight, as a full face highlight, as an all over the lid highlight. It is so freaking beautiful. This palette, Morphe Kathleen Lights, the bomb. I use this palette on my wedding day. I use this palette when I travel. I just take it with me everywhere. As you can see, it's pretty dirty, beat up, and used. But this is probably my most used eyeshadow palette ever of all time. It is that good. I love it so much. And not only because I love Kathleen Lights. I mean, like, this palette is so versatile. You can do any look with it. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I know favorites videos are very personal. All favorites videos will be people talking about their favorite products. And I understand that not everything works for everybody. If you love some of these products, then let's have that conversation down below. Let's connect on our love for makeup. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I feel like I'm losing my voice. This is the seventh video that I have filmed today. So I'm very, very tired. It is now 10 to 6 in the evening. I started filming at 8 o'clock this morning and I'm pretty, pretty tired. I'm gonna go have dinner now with some of my friends and I'm gonna enjoy it because I freaking earned it today. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are live as Geek Guy, the same across the board. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <coughs> I mean, this, these shimmery brush, because these shimmery, this shimmery blush is probably, and sorry if you can hear the rain. It's really super windy out there and it's actually starting to rain and I have a tin roof. I find it's much better than Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. I find it's much better than the L'Oreal. I find it's much better than the... And it's raining so hard. Sorry if you can hear that.